hello. An electric vehicle is being blamed for a Japanese-owned cargo ship ablaze and sinking off the Dutch coast. And it's carrying 2,800 cars, 25 of them are electric. Now one person very sadly has died, and an Indian, and the crew have uh, left the ship. Some have actually jumped into the sea and were picked up by the coast guards. Now some of the UK German media and YouTubers and the German minister are saying that the cause of the fire is an electric vehicle but without any evidence. I hope you can like and subscribe and please take a look at my other videos as more people like you and me are buying electric vehicles. Let's look into more of the details of this tragedy and let's take a look at some of the facts about this disaster. Well, Mercedes had about 350 cars on the ship. Uh, DW News in Germany said the most likely cause was an electric vehicle. An electric vehicle is thought to have started a fire on board a cargo ship carrying thousands of cars. And we can now speak on that subject to Nicky Truxel. He's a fire safety expert and managing director at Vetrax in Weiblingen, Germany. Now, the Coast Guard says an electric car is a suspected source of the blaze. How can they know and what could have happened? Um, I think they uh, expect this from the initial emergency call, which was talking about an electric battery or battery car that went on fire. And it's very likely because, um, uh, as you know, there are supposed to be 25 electric cars on the boat. Now, the BBC reported that the Coast Guard said the cause of the fire was unknown but had earlier suggested that it may have been an electrical car. The ship is the Panama-registered Japanese-owned Fremantle Highway. The crew leapt 100 feet into the sea to escape the blaze. A major salvage operation is in full swing in the North Sea. Rescue teams fear the fire could burn for days. Members of the crew initially tried to douse the flames themselves, but were overwhelmed and were eventually forced to flee. Some of them jumped into the water, according to the lifeboat captain. The cars were manufactured in Germany, uh, but German car makers are not confirming if their vehicles were on board or not. And the ship was en route from Bremerhaven in Germany to Egypt. A Coast Guard spokesman uh, is believed to have said that the fire started near an electrical car. But that person has not been named and since that statement the person is not available for comment. Now Teslas were not on the ship and they don't ship from Germany to Egypt although they do make a lot of cars in their gigafactory in Berlin, a left-hand drive for Europe. The right-wing media, German government and some YouTubers are saying that the electric cars are more likely to set on fire than the combustion engine but that's just not true. All the research shows EVs are less likely to set on fire. So taking a closer look at the data, the key electric fire statistics are electrical powered vehicles have least risk of catching fire according to the NTSB study. Battery electric vehicles are only 0.03 likely to ignite compared to 1.5% for gas power vehicles and 3.4% for hybrid vehicles. So the report found that hybrid cars uh, per 100,000, there were 3,474, gas 1,529 and electric 25, that's uh, fires per 100,000, uh, which means that an electric car has a 2% chance of catching on fire compared to the gas car but a hybrid car is twice as likely to catch fire and I must admit I would never buy one uh, because there are just so many good electric cars available especially the Tesla but I'm biased. Now I can remember on TV the Top Gear presenter saying well I've heard electric cars catch on fire and he didn't have any facts and I'm sure many people believe what he says. It's an EV fear that refuses to go away, as pictures of electric cars are regularly on social media showing burning electric cars. Research into actual cases has shown that EVs are much less likely to combust than their petrol or diesel equivalents. 
but you don't see an equivalent number of photos of petrol cars burning out of control on YouTube. I like facts and information and data unlike many and it's true that when an EV does go up in flames it's harder to extinguish by the emergency services. Tesla recommend a lot of water uh, for cooling down the temperature to put out the fire. They transport their cars and ships with a very low charge. So who has the most to lose as more people buy electric cars? And why is a story of a sinking cargo ship that many are saying with was started by an EV without any evidence. Well, obviously the oil industry has the most to lose, but also the car industry, especially the legacy car makers who are mostly baffled by EVs, German, Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, who are struggling in the EV market to make their mark. Um, and now so very much stuck in the past, like a lot of people who don't like a lot of change. Well, I'm old enough to be one of them, but I could never go back to a diesel car having driven an electric car for the last year. EVs are not perfect, nothing ever is, but they're much better and safer and less likely to catch fire, despite what the right-wing press say and some social media. But what do you think? Thanks for getting this far and please leave your comment below. I hope you can like and subscribe and uh, please take a look at some of my other videos. And don't forget to take your reusable mug wherever you go. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye.